on this edition of InCycle, we're at the Crescent Forgada in Sweden with the UCI Women's World Tour. You just get goosebumps almost going through there. So obviously signs on the side of the road, Swedish flags, and uh, you know, it gives you a lot of energy. Sonny Colbrelli talks us through bike innovation with Merida. Per noi è sempre una grande emozione perché proviamo cose nuove, ancora che il pubblico non le ha viste, non le ha, deve ancora uscire in commercio. But first, young Irish sprinting talent Sam Bennett talks about his debut season on the World Tour. The race program I had, I was, I was pretty happy with. Um, the la 2015 and 2016, I had to do the Tour de France, and each time I had a, a lot of bad luck. And uh, I was pretty happy to, to change it this year, to just kind of get away from it for a year and do the Giro. And um, I did a lot of things right, um, and I still see little things that I could improve on. This year I, I tried altitude training properly for the first time and I came into Paris Nice in great condition and the confidence were up and I just felt great and uh, it just clicked, everything came together and it was really important for my confidence and for the team to see that I can win uh, big races against a lot of big sprinters. Looking back on my Giro d'Italia, um, in all I think it was, it was pretty good. Uh, I had a virus the first week and um, I lost a lot of my top end. I was pretty disappointed about that, but um, I kind of handled the situation well. I went back in, tried to get the best results possible. And um, stage 13, when I looked through it, uh, I don't know what I've changed much. Um, I think Gaviria got the got yeah, got the slipstream and started the acceleration on a, a little bit of a, um, it was a little bit downhill and then where me and Rudy were, we tried to accelerate on the, when just after that little dip on the road and uh, into a headwind. So our acceleration wasn't as hard as Gaviria coming from behind. So looking back, there's not much more I could have done. Maybe I could have stuck to the, the right hand side of the road uh, against the barriers, but I, I would have rather I would rather win by being the fastest and that day I wasn't the fastest to the line. So I think fair is fair. People think that I'm uh, a better, one of the better climbers f from the sprinters, but um, if that makes sense. Uh, but I think it's just because I'm a lot smaller than other sprinters. Um, sometimes when I'm in good condition, I can survive climbs but I, I hurt a lot in the mountains. <laughs> Last year I tried to, to work more on my power and uh, I improved massively in the gym. I was doing a lot of heavy weights and, but it just didn't, it didn't, it just didn't re like come out on the bike. Uh, the watts didn't change. I felt maybe more powerful for 30 seconds, one minute, but my actual sprint didn't improve. I was a bit heavier, and then when I was a bit heavier, I panicked. To be able to sprint from already producing high power, uh, this is something I need to improve. If you're coming in and you're doing 500 and 700 watts, to be able to sprint from that power and still hit your a really high power in your sprint, it's different when you're out training and you're fresh and you sprint, you can always hit high power, but to be able to do it after 200 kr and you're doing the last 3k above 400 watts or something like this, to be able to sprint from that is, is I think that makes a difference. I 
think having a, like a, one of the superstars in the sport has, has really given our jersey a lot of respect in the peloton, which is massive. I found in other years when we were like uh, pro continental, it was very hard to do our job within the peloton. Now we have you know Peter on the team. People take us a lot more serious. Um, it just seems to be a lot more easier to take control of a race. It's making me rethink the way I should approach um, races. Uh, just in that, before I was trying to build my engine, get stronger so that I can put myself in position, but the guys are doing such an amazing job that they, they never fail to bring me within 300, 200 meters to go. So if I'm going to be getting the support from my teammates and the team, I'll just focus on the sprint and maybe it'll, be, it'll help me get to the next level. Siamo qui al Tour de France con questa nuova bicicletta. Eh, già in precedenza usavo la, la Reacto che mi è stata data a inizio stagione da Bahrain Merida e mi ero trovato subito, subito bene perché eh, per le mie esigenze da passista veloce era fatta proprio a pennello per me. E adesso con questo nuovo telaio, anche con questa nuova bicicletta, hanno fatto ancora un, un grande passo avanti. All the tests are made in the wind tunnel. The huge improvement for aerodynamic is the setup that we have with the, the new handlebar from Vision. And it makes the bike more clear in this part. Also the top tube have an aerodynamic improvement here. It makes the bike uh, quite fast. Regarding the stiffness, uh, sure, it's visible that the chain stays are quite massive and huge. And also the boat bucket is, uh, is bigger and wider, so it makes the bike uh, really stiff. It makes a bike uh, ready for, uh, for the sprinters for hilly, sta hilly stages. We test this it also on the cobblestones. Uh, so it's unbelievable how is this bike uh, ready for every sort of uh, races. Sono su una bicicletta che va bene in tutti in tutti i percorsi, una grande bici aerodinamica perché è stata fatta proprio a puntino con questo manubrio nuovo integrato e poi anche per la rigidità. Ci sono tanti corridori che limano tutto quanto sulla bicicletta per portarlo, io non sono uno di quelli sinceramente perché in discesa 70 90 all'ora eh, sei su una bici di 6 kg e 8 perché sotto non puoi andare basta un nulla basta un nulla una sbandata che perdi perdi subito il grip della bicicletta e però questa bici qua per me è una bici eh, il giusto che c'è un peso giusto per una bicicletta che non è sotto il peso sotto i 6 kg 8 ma è intorno ai 7 kg che è, diciamo già una cosa molto più decente Here we have uh, the classic the, the, mechanic, the mechanical brakes reactor is uh, presented also on, in the disc brake uh, version. We will see it, uh, we will for sure test in the future this bike. 
and I, I can't wait to see how it works. And also, I can't wait the feedback from the riders. Per noi è sempre una grande emozione perché proviamo cose nuove, ancora che il pubblico non le ha viste, non le ha, deve ancora uscire in commercio. Noi diciamo siamo quelli che testano le bici che dovranno uscire in un domani. Dal nostro spunto le case come Merida possono modificare la bicicletta da come loro l'hanno l'hanno fatto uscire dal, dall'assemblaggio e con, piccoli, con piccole cose eh, da, da dire eh, possono creare davvero una grande bicicletta come è stato fatto adesso in precedenza che hanno cambiato due o tre cose, l'hanno rifatta un paio di volte e è uscita questa bicicletta qua. Borgoda is a small town, about 5,000 inhabitants, and it's very calm and uh, nice and easy. My name is Helen Henriksson. Uh, I've been working with the races for, I would say now, seven, eight years. I've been cycling for many years and been a member of the cycling club also and asked to join the committee of the club and then from that it was easy to step in and be a part of the organization. crazy what they put up here actually. Everyone is so friendly, everyone is so enthusiastic about this race and we were out riding, uh, pre-riding pre the course for the long circuit today and just in every house people are out and they're waving and they have their little coffee stops up and they're looking at the Villa Fondo and just for me to see that they're coming out and all the families get together and they have this as an event they enjoy to just take part of and uh, they don't necessarily have to be into cycling but they just come together and uh, come out to share it on and make a big party for us. Chris and Forgoda is uh um, that's two races. It's the team time trial on Friday and uh, we start here in Borgoda and going out for 42.5 km long. And the end of the team time trial is the same course as we do uh, in the road race that will be on Sunday. Uh, and there we will do four short laps, uh, going out for a long lap and then continue with four short laps. So that will be 143 kilometers. The race began with Vorgoda Cycle Club, the, the local cycle club. They aimed for the Swedish uh, championship. And that was because they have the famous, the Hegrunga Backe, the small climb that we have on the, on the short lap. It's one of my first memories from this race, obviously, going up the Hegrunga Backen with all the, with all the drums and, and yeah, just, you just get goosebumps almost going through there. So, obviously, signs on the side of the road, Swedish flags, and, uh, no, it gives you a lot of energy, and uh, I don't know how the other girls feel, but, yeah, for me, it's something really special. Also, always there every year, and it's fun. It's uh, it's, it's it's making a lot of noise. Yeah, it's good. People are enthusiastic. The Swedish people here for uh, for our race, and that's nice to see. I come for this race every year in Sweden, and I know this place perfectly. I know almost every road here, and for the rest, I don't know anything. So I think the people are a bit the same. They know this race because it's here every year, and. Anyway, it's, it's a beautiful country and it's a beautiful lap, so I think it's really nice to race here in Sweden. 
This race has been for me better and better each year. I think first year it was pouring down rain and we only did the small laps and I crashed early but I finished it and I was so proud of just doing that and then the next year I was in there for a little bit longer and a little bit longer and it's a really a race that I love to do and this is the first time doing the TTT so that'll be exciting. The team time trial is such a perfect event for us, you know, because it's a really special event in cycling. I wish we actually did more of it. It's a true reflection of what cycling really is, and that's a team sport. You have to really work together, you have to know each other well, you have to almost be able to read each other without even saying anything. With our history with the Pettersson brothers, we were prepared in one way to take home the team time trial. The Pettersson brothers, they started the cycling club in 1961 and then they have been uh, competing for some years. But they started the club and after the years, they were really good in, in uh, riding together. They did good uh, results uh, for themselves, but the team time trial was their speciality. So they had the gold medals in the world champs, 67, 68 and 69. So that was great. We arranged the race with about 400 volunteers, and I would say we have no, no paychecks. I think the volunteers, they have the history. We have a lot of uh, guys, uh, women as well, but they've been living in Volgoda for so long time, and they have the history of the, the, the Pettersson brothers. I think it's a way of giving back some uh, experience. They see the joy also in, in cycling and they have the history. Just fun and nice to, to uh, giving a helping hand. Everyone enjoy it and people are happy and uh, you see we are using the drums and, and you could be in Itali Italy. You can see all the signs on the road. You, you can see a moose. Some years ago a cyclist uh, ran into a moose and get hurt it. Yeah, my job is uh, cycling around and take photos um, on everything and everybody. <laughs> it's a serious race, but for us it's uh, uh, fun and um, yeah, we are enjoying ourselves. And the, uh, lots of music and the pubs and food is open a little bit longer <laughs> and lots of people out in town. It's every year that all the people come out to, to share for us. We did a reckon and there were thousands of people out on the course uh, in, the, in the Grand Fondo. So you see cycling is, uh, is pretty big here and uh, yeah, it's live, live on television. So it's growing and growing and obviously that's, uh, that's nice for us and good for us. Some years ago we had a lot of immigrants and in Sweden all communities they have some uh, amount of immigrants, young people, mostly Afghanistan or Syria or uh, Ethiopia, Africa. I think we, we try to involve them also in the, in the event. The young people, they want to do something. I mean, we are a cycling club. We're, we're not doing this for earning money. We do it for, for fun and, for, for, uh, and giving something to, uh, to women cycling. I think um, Sweden is an awesome event. Um, they've really been going for quite a while now and every year it just keeps um, sort of building and building and building. Um, I really take my hat off to these events that are women only events and they've put in so much effort to um, push women cycling forward and to improve with every year in terms of exposure and you know we're going to have some live TV coverage on Sunday so really great event and awesome little town um, and I always enjoy being here. For me, I'm really proud to be Swedish and seeing this race has uh, grown and also being the highest level and to have everyone in the bunch coming over to Sweden for one weekend is always super nice and uh, show everyone around a bit and it feels a bit special to, to come home. If I got to pick one race on the World Tour or World Cup calendar, I would no doubt have put this race as my dream race to win and uh, to actually that everything went into place last year and uh, yeah that was incredible. It was a really great uh, moment last year when Emilia won after all these years and, and you could see her strong really like I'm going for this and she made it and I was at the finish line and I was like all not crying but you know it's 
really, really, really amazing. It was something unbelievable, really, because I always, yeah, I've done this race since I was young, and I always come back to this uh, this village to do a race, and you feel like you've given them a Swedish winner last year, which I think for them also was a bit special. For me and for all Swedish riders, this is uh, one of the biggest races of the season. Of course, the, the crowds and being a Swede on this course is, is amazing. To have this uh, special support for from the spectators, it's amazing. It's always one of the races I look forward to the most. And when you're finally here also, <laughs> you're a bit more nervous than normally because you know, you're a Swede on Swedish soil and it's special. But yeah, it's, it's always a race in my head all season. It would be great if Anna Nilsson would do a, a, a good race. I don't know if that suits her in that way, but Emilia knows the course and she, she did it really good last year. You never know, but that's the great thing with uh, sports. kul och man hittar på saker och pratar med vänner och fantastisk. Ja. Ja. Väldigt kul. When we finished with the race and the office is cleaned. I mean you take some days off but then you have uh, you follow, you follow next race, and you are in your mind, you're already d doing some, uh, what will we do better next year? <laughs>